Mobile trying to get into that Wallace or Bankhead tunnel. As you can tell, traffic running pretty slow, but I will say it is running faster than it was about 10 minutes ago. I also have some pretty good news about this accident. There were two back to back. It looks like one cleared, so we're just sticking with the one, but traffic tracker works in real time, so it looks like another one just popped up literally on top of that accident. I-10 eastbound, three lanes are blocked. If you, if you know, it's about four or five lanes in that area, so take Michigan Avenue if you can. Take government. Now, if you want to head to the beach, it's going to be a gorgeous weekend. 59 looks amazing. 182 all green. If you want to head into Orange Beach or Pensacola for your Friday from I 10 that Beach Express to Orange Beach travel time 40 minutes and from Highway 59 to Gulf Shores travel time 50 minutes. We'll have another check on our traffic at 4 p.m. with Jennifer. But Michael, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful weekend to be at the beach. It sure will be Chelsea, and that's what's most important. We just got to get through today where we have the clouds winning the battle. And then later tonight, we start to see shower chances increasing, but rain that appears this evening will be light. But then look what happens as we move in toward late tonight. We start to see some heavier bands of rain showing up possibly south of Loosedale. All of that is going to basically hug the I-10 corridor and point south, but will exit during the morning on Saturday, which means weekend weather will be decent. The high today, low 70s, clouds increase. Overnight tonight, we drop down to the mid 40s with showers becoming possible. And the later into the night we go, the more rain rolls through, but all of that moves out on Saturday and the weekend weather looks good. Mid 60s for highs mornings drop down to the low 40s Sunday and Monday and then look at all the dry days we have to start next week and we turn much warmer too. mid 70s back by midweek and then morning temperatures jumping up to the mid to upper 50s starting Thursday morning of next week all the way into next weekend. And keep in mind, next weekend will be when we spring forward. Daylight time will return. We're going to be talking more about your forecast coming up in our next hour on Studio 10. Guys. All right, Michael, thank you. Loving all the sunshine on that extended forecast. It's looking great. Looks so good. We should call it a five cast. It got promoted. Uh, <laughs> all right, then. <laughs> New names for things. Thanks so much for watching. Good day, Gulf Coast, on this Friday morning. There is still much more to come with <laughs> Studio 10. <laughs> that is right. We're talking about delicious Mexican food today with the folks from Taqueria, Mexico. And a boat show. We've been showing you this shot this morning from the Battleship Cam. Getting ready for this weekend at Battleship Memorial. Park will have the details. Thank you for watching Good Day Gulf Coast. Studio 10 is next. Thanks for watching Fox 10 News. Watch us live wherever you are on our mobile, our streaming news app, and you can also watch us on Roku, Apple TV, and Fire TV.
on location cooking with Taqueria Mexico and the restaurant has a brand new look too. We'll show you all of that. Plus a couple of fun events you can enjoy outside including a festival at Bell and Grass. We'll have your rundown for the weekend. And the Festival of Flowers is coming to downtown Mobile this year with a heated competition <laughs> and a classic car show. We'll tell you all about it. Welcome into Studio 10 on this Friday morning. I'm Joe Emer. And I'm Chelsea Sayasan. Happy, happy Friday. It's going to be a good weekend. we got beautiful weather. You know why else it's going to be a good weekend? Because it's your birthday. What? <laughs> Happy birthday, Chelsea. You guys. Uh, so. It, it, thank you, Kiara. Sweet thing. Yeah, we got we got you some stuff. Um, so we also we often have a nacho debate yes. between us. So you got some cupcakes there. These look amazing. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. OK. And so we made sure to get you the round <laughs> chips <laughs> because the you like the chips round are shape. Very important. And then we got you some very cheap salsa coke queso. <laughs> <laughs> or you buying yes. the salsa. Yes. <laughs> and there's also a few more things for you at your desk. But um, this is just what we wanted to share. Guys, on the uh, air. thank you. My birthday is, uh, is it Sunday? Yeah, it my Sunday. Birthday. Yeah, my birthday is Sunday. So thank you. You're looking good for 40. Oh, I mean, I would have never have guessed. Aging well, like a fine wine. <laughs> well, happy birthday. Thank I you hope guys. you have an awesome weekend. And uh, you're off on Monday. You're celebrating yeah, this weekend, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to sleep in. There you go. I'm going to sit outside in the grass. And now you can eat some chips and, and stuff. You guys are the best. That. Thank you. All right. Well, what better way to kick off Chelsea's birthday weekend and or the spring and summer than with a new boat? We yeah. didn't we didn't get you a new boat. Oh, I didn't want to make it sound like that. Bummer. <laughs> well, the boat show on the bay is happening this weekend at Battleship Memorial Park. You can see the setup live on our battleship cam right here. That's a ton of tents. A ton of tents. Alliteration too. You can shop for boats and accessories from vendors across the Gulf Coast. There's also going to be a kid zone, a cornhole tournament and other activities. The boat show opens today at noon and runs through Sunday. A lot of fun. The forecast looking pretty good. Yeah. Michael's been saying that today or tonight we may see some rain, but this weekend you guys really a lot of sunshine. Great boating weather. Yeah, and there's another event and it's also outside this weekend. Bell and Grath Gardens is hosting beers and blooms. It's a craft beer and live music festival. 13 craft breweries will have beer tastings. Plus you can shop from different vendors and there's going to be live music all set up on the great lawn at Bellingrath. Live bands playing throughout the day starting at noon with Lee Yankee. You can get tickets online. They're $25 in advance. All the information is on fox10tv.com slash studio 10. This will be a ton of fun. Our friends at Bellingrath came on the show a couple of days ago to promote this event. Just a lot of fun. A beautiful day, like we said, um, mm -hmm. and good music too. good local music. Yeah, love Simone French. Mm -hmm. She was on there. We've had several of the people who are going to perform there have been on Studio 10 before, so you are in for a treat. Here's something coming up this next weekend. Mobile's largest yard sale. I am in. You're in for this? Yeah. Happening next Saturday at the grounds. If you want to shop, it's free to attend. If you have things you want to sell, you can rent a vendor spot with prices ranging from $25 to $75, depending upon how big the space is that you rent. Get more information on thegroundsmobile.com. What folks at home may not know about mm. me is I am the best bargain shopper in the entire world. <laughs> that is the only thing I'll brag I will brag on myself you, you about. You know what you are also legit good at is you are good at selling your previous items. I am good at selling my previous items. You know what? I just like to um, you should buy recycle a tent. clothes. You should buy a tent and set it I up. I really should, but I probably will go to buy more new, buy new things to me. New to you. That's Love the it. way to go. Love it. Tiger King star Joe Exotic is warning everybody he's not holding back in his new tell all memoir. Wow, Joe Exotic rose to fame as the subject of Netflix's popular documentary Tiger King. Now, the former zoo owner wrote the memoir while serving a 22 year federal prison sentence over a murder for hire plot to kill his rival, Big Cat Rescue CEO Carol Baskin. The book titled Tiger King, the official tell all memoir will include passages about his troubled upbringing and dangerous rivals with other animal keepers. Exotic says readers can expect stories about crazy antics and secrets about people he knows, saying, quote, 
Anybody that's got bones in your closet, <laughs> you better look out. Wow, the new book is set to hit stores November 9th. I'm curious to see how the, how well this does. About a year ago is when Tiger King really just kind mm -hmm. of spread like a wildfire. Everyone was watching it just because of how um, unique this story <laughs> really was. But the memoir is going to be interesting. I think why people loved watching Tiger King is number one to see Joe Exotic's fashion, but also his <laughs> voice is pretty funny too. Yeah, I think I think this could be the last of the Joe Exotic yeah. Tiger King wave because I think some people will still want to hear directly from his mouth what his version of the story is. Mm -hmm. But then after that, I think I think folks are going to start to be Tiger Kinged out. Mm. I think you're right there. So we'll keep you updated on that. Now we're seeing more movie delays due to the pandemic, unfortunately. Fans of Fast and Furious will have to wait a little longer for the next film. Universal Pictures reveals it's de delaying the release date for the long-awaited sequel F9 by one month. The movie will now hit theaters June 25th. That's only 30 days, you know? Yeah, One month's not, not bad. bad. The studio is also postponing the release of Minions, The Rise of Gru by an entire year. Wow, moving the film from July 2nd, 2021 to July 1st, 2022. I love the Minions, um, so it looks like we'll have to wait a little while longer for that one. But like we've talked about with these movies, totally understand it. You want to make the most mm -hmm. um, when they've put so much hard work into the, these movies and hopefully they'll make the money that they deserve, I guess, towards the end of the year. I'm kind of surprised by that one, though, the Minions one, because it is an animated film. Mm -hmm. Like, Disney is releasing their big, newest, latest animated thing today, actually, Raya and the Last Dragon, um, and they have the options, 30 bucks on Disney+, Plus, or you can go to theaters to see it. And I feel like so people are so used to the streaming that maybe they figured out how to make it profitable, too, so I'm kind of surprised by that one. Yeah. Uh, July 1st, 2022, Minions Rise of Gru. Mm -hmm. I Rise can't wait. Gru. All right, I put it. I, know, I actually know you notes. guys will see it though. We will. Kevin Hart's upcoming film, Fatherhood, will make its premiere on Netflix just in time for Father's Day weekend. The comedian and actor announced the news on social media. Hart takes a dramatic turn in the new movie, playing a father forced to raise his newborn baby mm. girl on his own after his wife's unexpected death. Fatherhood will be available to stream on Netflix June 18th. I'm a big fan of Kevin Hart's work, um, so I'll probably check this one out. Yeah, I wonder, I, I guess, um, I wonder if it's going to have some funny moments in there. Um, usually his movies, he kind of reminds me of Adam Sandler these days, his work at least. Um, it's kind of all in the same genre, mm -hmm. just different roles, and so I'll be excited to see that one too. Well, funny you mentioned that because Adam Sandler every now and then will break ranks and also do like a very dramatic yeah. uh, movie too. So he recently did that one with Brian Cranston, which I haven't seen when he was kind of a caregiver. Um, but yeah, some options there for you. You haven't seen no, that movie? I have not. Joe! I should check it out, huh? It's a great movie. It yeah. really is. It's a great movie. All right. Well, if you want to listen to something great, big day in pop music today. It's been crazy. I checked the new releases. Bruno Mars with Anderson Pock. They started a new band called Silk Sonic, and their first single is out. Drake has something new out. Justin Bieber all with new releases. Yeah, so Bruno Mars' new song, Leave the Door Open. Drake's new song is called Scary Hours 2. That's his EP. And Justin Bieber's new song, Hold On, which the music video came out at midnight last night. I haven't seen it just yet but his last music video Bieber's uh, was very serious it was kind of like a movie in in two to three minutes mm -hmm. and so I'm curious to see what this one looks like too but a whole list of new songs yeah great stuff to listen to like maybe if you have like a birthday weekend or something and you want to <laughs> jam out yeah, if you, you want to jam. <laughs> I'll, I'll be jamming out to Bieber for sure. Yeah, all right. Uh, really excited about Silk Sonic. The Bruno Mars song is awesome with Anderson Pock. Check that out. If you're looking for some good food, you may want to check this out. That's right. Joe got to visit Taqueria, Mexico to see what's been happening in their kitchen lately. Check it out. Bienvenidos a la Taqueria Mexico. So excited to be back here once again alongside Angelica. Great to see you. Thank you for coming. Hey, and you know what's really exciting is I've noticed some changes since the last time we were here. Check out all these beautiful tables and booths. Tell me a little bit about this. Well, we um, decided to get some booths like that and, uh, you know, complying with the rules and regulation about dividing so people can feel safe uh, sitting and, you know, and keeping our distance and stuff for the customer 
to feel safe to come and eat. With. Well, not only is it safe, but it's bold, beautiful, and colorful. This is artwork that was actually done in Mexico and brought that's here, right. correct? That's right. That is so great. So you'll notice it on all of these booths that line the restaurant. You'll also notice it at the host server table where you check in. So a lot of great stuff here really gets you in the spirit and in the flavor of what you're going to get here at Taqueria Mexico. And when we talk about flavors, we've got four distinct yeah, we, margarita flavors up yeah, here. We have uh, four. Well, actually, we have more, but we have four new mar margaritas flavors, which is uh, the first one that you see here okay. is the, our blackberry margarita. And you can have it on, on the rocks and frozen, too, and different sizes that we have. We have small, medium and large. The same thing with passion fruit right here. We have the pomegranate here and the pineapple right here. Lots of great flavors to try out. Of course, these just four of them. Now, for the folks who are watching at home, is there any particular time they should come to check out these margaritas? Do you have specials every now and then, stuff we, like that? We do have the special on the house margaritas, yes. but they can come every day and try our new flavors. We're going to have it here every day, all day. So no matter what day this segment is airing on, if you're in the mood for a margarita, if this is making you thirsty, you definitely want to come here to Taqueria Mexico to try it out. I think I'm going to try the pineapple one, if you don't mind. All right, so what's all, what's all in this pineapple one? Well, you know, the pineapple flavor and our margarita secret there. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is really good. That's dangerous. <laughs> I could drink the whole thing right now. I tell you what, we focus on the drinks. When we come back, we're going to put the focus on the food here at Taqueria Mexico. Stick around. You don't want to miss it. Angelica, thanks so much. Thank you. Pineapple. Yeah, it was really good. Cool new artwork straight from Mexico, too. Really yeah. puts you in the feel mm. of it. Good if you want to celebrate Friday. That's They're really excited to show the Taco Birria, which is a sensation. A lot of people are talking about it. They have the authentic version of that. You'll see that in the third segment coming up. What a tease. Yes. The Festival of Flowers is headed downtown this year with a living sculptures competition. There's also going to be a fun car show, and we'll learn about all the festivities coming up right here on Studio 10. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. How are you? <clears throat> Doing well. Good. Are you Cameron? I'm Cameron. Hey, I'm Chelsea. It's nice to meet you. Hello. Good to see you. Oh, it feels so good outside today. I know. Oh. I, I pulled up and I said, what a warm welcome. I know. We threw you a party. I didn't know that it was um, Gust or, Gust or yes. Employee Appreciation Day. No, we're super excited. I don't know what they've got planned. Um, but so when I introduce you first, we'll be looking there. Um, and then we're just looking at each other. You don't have to worry about the cameras. We'll talk about the festival coming up. Um, let me make sure. Can you hear me, Allison? Okay, I was making sure I could hear you. Um, I'll ask you when, where, um, why you guys are doing this, if people need to get tickets, what people can expect, that, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Just very. How, how long are the? About three, three minutes. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. Now we're about 30 seconds out. Weevil, is that right? Cameron Weevil. Perfect. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. Anything else you want to talk about? While so you're I'm really.
Happy Friday and thanks for joining us here on Studio 10. Now the Festival of Flowers has a new look this year. The popular event benefiting Providence Hospital Foundation is coming to downtown Mobile next month along with a festival of cars. We're going to hear all about it from Cameron Weevil. He's the vice president of the Weevil Company. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Of course. We're excited to have you here on Studio 10 on this gorgeous Friday. Now we are really pumped about this event. We want to talk about what's all going to be going on. It's next month. Well, it's actually next weekend. So it's uh, March the 13th. It'll be downtown this year. Normally it's held at Providence Hospital and they wanted to mix things up. We wanted to come downtown to Mobile um, and really help boost uh, the businesses downtown. So uh, what they've done is a, a fantastic thing. It goes to benefit uh, Providence Hospital Foundation and it really all the donations will go towards critical care monitors. So, so important. Um, I think it's really cool how you guys are giving back and in, in such a needed time right now too. So there you see all the information on your screen. It's next weekend. Now, Cameron, you guys have a really fun event going on along with the Festival of Flowers. We're talking about an exotic car show. Yeah, so that's really neat this year. So we'll have about 15 to 18 exotic cars. And you know, an exotic car is a supercar. So it's a high performance, street legal luxury sports car. And so what you'll see there is a Ferrari 360 Modena. You'll see an Aston Martin Vantage. You'll see Lamborghinis. You'll see a Ferrari F8 Tributo, some nice Jaguars. And so it'll really get a chance for people to see a festival of cars as well as a festival of flowers. How cool is that? Yeah, you don't see those driving down Airport Boulevard every single day so you can see those in downtown mobile next weekend now if folks want to come with their families to the festival of flowers to check out the cars do they need to buy a ticket or anything how does that work you can get a ticket at the door you can go to festivalflowers.com thanks to wells fargo our title sponsor we're going to have life-size animals. The theme is all creatures, great and small. So there'll be eight-foot living plant sculptures. And there'll be um, a People's Choice Award where you can vote for what you want for a dollar on, online. The donation um, to get entry is a donation of your choice. Mm -hmm. So we're really just leaving it out there for whoever and what they want to come. So we're looking to see everybody. It is going to be a ton of fun. Also, what do folks need to know about COVID-19 and this event next weekend? So this will be a very safe event. It's outdoors. There'll be plenty of uh, social distancing. Uh, wear your mask if you would like, but it'll be very uh, safe and clean outdoor uh, fun for the whole family. If folks want to learn more information about the event next weekend, or if they want to learn more information about the Weevil company how can they find you online well we're at the weevilcompany.com we're a commercial real estate brokerage firm i'm just helping out with the exotic cars but they can go to the festivalflowers.com to get more information all right thank you so much cameron for coming on studio 10 it's going to be beautiful next weekend a lot of fun there in downtown mobile we'll have all the details on our website it's fox10tv.com under the studio 10 tab joe Great stuff, guys. Thanks a lot. Michael White will tell you about a great forecast coming up. Plus, tips for in the kitchen. Do you know the difference between braising, broiling, and all those other oven words? We'll get the info from an editor at Rachel Ray Magazine.
Welcome back. Now for many people, spending extra time at home this year meant learning new cooking techniques. Mm. But do you know the difference between braising, roasting, baking and broiling? No, not all four. We have some <laughs> tips from an editor at Rachel Ray in Season Magazine on how to use your oven to its fullest potential. We'll start with braising. Um, braising is prized for its ability to take even the toughest cuts of meat and make them super tender. The technique involves cuts of meat or even vegetables and a little bit of liquid. You cook them in a closed vessel. I love to use a Dutch oven, but you can use a heavy bottom pot. And you cook them at a low temperature in your oven. Braising is all about being low and slow. You cook them at a lower temperature than you would probably normally use your oven for. And also you um, are going to cook for a longer period. But don't worry, longer doesn't mean more time on your your part. Most of the time that you're braising is hands off. So it's, that's the beauty of braising. The next technique we can talk about is roasting. So roasting generally refers to high heat. We're talking like 400 plus degrees. Roasting is best used for larger cuts of meat, whole chickens, whole fish, and even vegetables. The idea behind roasting is that you end up with these deeply browned um, outer pieces, or in the case of chicken, you know, this really crispy skin. Uh, but the inside of whatever you're roasting is super juicy. You know, when you're roasting vegetables, one thing to keep in mind is that all of the pieces are similar size, because if, if they're not, you'll have uneven cooking um, and, and nobody wants that. Baking has taken over our social media feeds um, in the last year and for good reason. It's one of the most elemental techniques that we can use our oven for. Um, whether you know, you're whipping up a loaf of banana bread, a batch of snickerdoodles or a quiche, it's all about harnessing this gentle indirect heat and it causes your food to become golden brown if you do it right. One of the things that we encourage is to not open your oven. You know, opening your oven will cause the temperature to drastically decrease, and this will only cause uneven baking. And also just, it'll add so much extra time onto your recipe. So whatever you can, fight the urge and just pop the oven light on and take a peek that way. So lastly, we'll talk about broiling. It's the speediest of all methods. We like to think of broiling as upside down grilling. You're using direct high heat and it's perfect for thin cuts of meat or smaller vegetables. Broiling does come with a warning. You do want to make sure that um, you're keeping an eye on it. And I know before we talked about not opening your oven. In this case, it's okay to do that every once in a while or you can use your oven light, but it's just important to make sure that whatever you're broiling isn't in there too long because it can go from beautifully browned to burnt in no time.